Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of seven problem from exercise 10.1 from NCRT from Strike Lens Chapter Class 11. Please practice the similar type of questions at the end of the video I have given here. And now going to the problem, find the slope of the line. The first one is which makes an angle of 30 degrees with the positive direction of y axis measured anti clockwise. Second one is which bisects the first quadrant. So, these type of problems you have to check first which axis from which axis the angle is given, that is, the inclination of the line is given, and in which direction, that is, positive or negative or anti clockwise or clockwise, like that you have to check. So, in this problem, it is given that the angle is 30 degrees from y axis in a positive direction or anti clockwise. So, from this figure, you can see it is the angle is from the line is at an angle of 30 degrees from the y axis in an anti clockwise. So, this is the angle, but we know that slope is from the x axis in an anti clockwise. So, you have to consider the slope, uh, the angle from x axis. So, if you uh, consider the angle, the, see here this red color one, this angle that is theta, you have to find. So, theta here is equal to, this is 90 degrees plus 30 degrees, that is 120 degrees. So, you have to find slope for 120 degrees. So, write here all the given values first. Now, slope m is equal to tan theta, that is equal to tan 120 degrees. Tan 120 you can write as tan 90 plus 30 degrees. And here it is odd number, 90 degrees and 270. Uh, 270 like that, then you have to write the reciprocal. So, tan you have to write cot and 30 degrees. Why it is negative? Because it is in the second quadrant. Second quadrant sine and cosecant only positive, remaining all are negative. So, you have to put minus sign here. So, minus cot 30 is root 3. So, you have this slope is minus root 3. This is second question. The line bisects the first quadrant. So, in this uh, option, the line uh, bisects the first quadrant. So, bisects means it divides this quadrant into two equal parts. So, here it is 90 degrees. You have to divide into two equal parts. That means 90 by 2, that is 45 degrees. So, here the slope is, uh, you have to find for the angle of 45 degrees. This is the inclination of the line. So, slope m is equal to tan theta is equal to tan 45 degrees. That is equal to 1. And now, practice these questions, similar type of questions. So, you have to check first uh, the axis and the direction. Then, you have to find the uh, slope of that lines. These type of problems, you have to check the highlighted here. I have highlighted here. So, these words you have to check. These are the answers you can cross check. 